Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Farhad bin Hashim with number matrix of B0120101 I will explain about equation 1A and 1B Okay, for question 1A, the equation is fx equal to a sin pi x plus b sin pi x Okay, we will differentiate the equation We will get the value of a pi cos pi x plus b sin pi x we will put in the value of 0 into the equation we will get a equal to 3b and then we will put the value of 1 into the equation we will get a equal to negative 3b that is our first equation and then we will put the value of 1 over 2 into the original equation we will get the value of a equal to 2 plus b that is our second first equation the second equation we will put the second equation into the first equation we will get b equal to negative 1 over 2 and then that is our third equation and then we will put in the value of b equal to negative 1 over 2 into the equation and then we get a equal to 3 over 2 hence the, value, the final value is 3 over 2 sine pi x minus 1 over 2 sine 3 pi x move to the next question which is question 1b okay as we know the value of fx is 3 over 2 sine pi x minus 1 over 2 sine 3 pi x okay firstly we will do it by cases for the first case is k equal to x squared we will get the real and distinct equation because the value of lambda is plus minus lambda Okay, we will put in all the value of the real into a real and distinct equation. We will get the value of a one zero and b one zero. So the final, uh, so the final value of case one is zero. So that is a trivial solution and case dismissed. Okay, for the second case, k equal to zero, and then we will get the uh, equation of real but repeated. We will put in all put in all the value into the real and but repeated equation. We will get a to zero and b to zero, and that will affect the final value of zero. Okay, that is also the trivial solution and case dismissed. Okay, for case number three, k is negative, so we will get k equal to negative lambda squared. And then we will get the value of um, we put in all the value into the equation, and then we we'll get a three zero. And we, as we know, sine pi is zero, so the final value would be zero. Okay. We will uh, after that we will put in all the value into into the u n x t equal to n x n x times t n t, and then we will get the value of b n sine n pi x times the exponent power of negative n pi squared. Uh, times t and we will get the value of b n and n equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 ok firstly we will do the b n uh, b n equation ok for, uh, as we know the b n equation is b n is equal to 2 over l uh, integration of f x sin n pi x with limit of uh, 0 to 1 we will put in all the value we will get 2 over l integration of 3 over 2 sin n pi x minus 1 over 2 sin 3 pi x uh, times is sine n pi x dx with limit of 0 to 1 ok uh, we will get this value and then we will separate it uh, for a equal to uh, 3 over 2 sine pi x sin, sin, uh, 3 over 2 sine pi x times with sine n pi x and for the b minus 1 over 2 sine 3 pi x times with sine n pi x ok we will do it separately for the a equation a uh, which is uh, integration of 3 over 2 sine pi x times with uh, sine n pi x dx uh, with limit of 0 to 1 we will uh, integrate it as usual and then the, we will get the value of a is 0 and then next we will integrate uh, b uh, the, which is the equation of b is uh, integration of sine 3 pi x times with uh, sine n pi x dx with the limit of 0 to 1 and times all the integration into 1 over 2 and we will do it as usual and uh, usual um, the value uh, of b will get the value of b is also 0 and then we we'll put in all the value uh, as we know b n equal to 0 you x 0 equal to fx so fx is uh, 3 over 2 sine pi x minus 1 over 2 sine 3 pi x ok as we know bn is 0 we will uh, put in all the value uxt equal to fx times with uh, exponent power of negative n squared pi squared and times t put in all the uh, value of fx 
and then we'll get n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 3 and then the final value would be uxt equal to 3 over 2 sin pi x exponent power of negative pi squared t minus 1 over 2 sin 3 pi exponent power of negative 9 pi squared t yes. my name is Nur Fadila Tashabiti Fadli and I will talk about the example in real application involving partial differential equation and Fourier series so for differential equation uh, the title that I choose is surface representation using second fourth and mixed order partial differential equation for the background of the problem PDE are practical tools for creating freeform surface Surface representation strategies involving PDE of various order are examined in this world. The form of three types of partial differential equation, namely second, mixed and fourth order of PDE, are represented to explore in real-time performance and capacity of the surface creation based on PDE approach. These PDE closed form solutions are derived. So, the main partial differential equation applied in this article are by introducing fourth order PDE for one of the component, second order PDE can be enhanced resulting in mixed order PDE. This type is the least powerful in addition to the variety surface it can generate for the same reason. Despite their poorer efficiency than the second and mixed order partial differential equation, the fourth order partial differential equation have a many four, have many more degrees of freedom. They can thus form a family of a surface with advanced geometric properties. Depending on the scenario, each of these three types of PDE should be used differently. As the, as the conclusion, the second mixed order PDE should be evaluated first if real-time performance is critical, such as in virtual reality application. The fourth order PDE of 3 vector value parameter should be prioritized if the shape of requirement and moduli accuracy become a dominant factor. The partial differential equation of fourth order with one vector value parameter has been used to describe various design including yacht, yacht hull, a submarine hull, an engine inlet port and an aeroplane fuselage. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Saeed Mawaifan bin Saeed Azrun and now I would like to explain question 2 that is a Fourier series question. For question A, determine its partial sums of the Fourier series. Right. Uh, so for the first step, uh, as the function is given, we need to sketch the given function. Alright, uh, as we know on the left side is the y for the y axis, and as for the right side is for the x axis. Okay, once we know, once we sketch the waveform, we know that it, it is an odd function because uh, the waveform is reflected at the origin. Okay, so we need to use a Fourier sine series equation. We also got to know its L and also its period T. Uh, whereas L is pi and T equals to 2L, so equals to 2 pi. Okay. So for the Fourier sine series, uh, we need to use the formula fx equals to summation from n equals to 1 to infinity bn sine n pi x of L, where a naught equals to 0 and a n equals to 0. So for bn, we need we need to search for bn that is 2 over l uh, integration from 0 to l ft sine n pi x over l dx okay uh, so once we simplify it we got until uh, 2 over pi 1 over n cos n pi plus 1 over n cos n 0 we know that cos n pi equals to negative 1 to the power of n so we need to simplify it again until we get the last equation of bn that is 2 over n pi uh, negative in bracket negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 
So once we know BN, we can insert all the parameter, all the coefficients into the partial sum equation. Once we insert a not equals to zero, n equals to zero, and also BN is two over n pi in bracket negative negative one to the power of n plus one. We got the last equation that is uh, summation from n equals to one to n in bracket two over n pi in bracket negative negative one to the power of n plus one in bracket sine n x. My name is Faris Rishad bin Magno and I will continue the presentation from Syed Muhammad Irfan for question 2b. So for this question, uh, it is stated that we need to prove either pi sin x f prime 2n minus 1x equals to 2 sin 2n x. So the first step is we need to, um, by using the partial sum uh, answer which is the fn function, we need to substitute the value of n into 2n minus 1. So all of the n terms in the equation will be substituted, sub substituted into 2n minus 1. Uh, and then uh, we'll try to find three different values of n which is n equals to 1, n equals to 2 and n equals to 3. So um, for n equals to 1 as you can see we can uh, just substitute the value of n into the 2n minus 1 uh, equation and then we try to solve the equation and then we end up with the answer of 4 over pi sine x. Same case uh, applies for n equals to 2 and also n equals to 3. For n equals to 2, we obtain the answer of 4 over 3 pi sin 3x and for n equals to 3, we obtain the answer of 4 over 5 pi sin 5x. And then all of these equations are being uh, rearranged and uh, being um, put in the uh, equation of 4 over pi sin x plus sin 3x over 3 plus sin 5x over 5. Uh, until infinity until towards sine 2n minus 1x over 2n minus 1 because this is an infinite value and then we need to differentiate the uh, f uh, 2n minus 1 function uh, in order to get in the form of uh, cos so we differentiate the, uh, the the equation we get 4 over pi cos x plus cos 3x plus cos 5x until infinity towards cos 2n minus 1x and then uh, in order to match with the question we need to multiply both sides with sine x and then we also need to multiply both sides with pi and for the right side we have 4 over pi pi will cancel out with the pi and then we leave uh, only 4 sine x on the right side and then uh, we need to multiply the sine uh, 2 sine x from the 4 sine x we need to multiply 2 sine x inside the bracket so this will result us uh, in uh, 2 in bracket of 2 sine x cos x plus 2 sine x cos 3 x plus 2 sine x cos 5x and it is continuous uh, towards infinity and uh, in order to solve we need to apply the trigonometric uh, rules which is 2 sine x cos y equals to sine x plus y plus sine x minus y so all of those that the form of 2 sine x cos y inside the equation that will be multiplied we need to convert it into uh, using this uh, trigonometric rules and then we'll end up uh, with the answers of uh, 2 in the record of sine 2x plus sine 4x minus sine 2x plus sine 6x minus sine 4x until uh, infinity sine 2nx plus sine 2x y minus n and then uh, as you can see um, we can simply eliminate sine 2x because they have the two terms and one is a positive and one is a negative so we can uh, easily eliminate the terms uh, also uh, applies with sine 4x but sine 6x is uh, right here will be limited eventually because uh, for now we only substitute three values of n so if we keep uh, substituting values of n until infinity so all of the sign terms will be eliminated and then if all of the sign term will be limited that will um, gives us I mean, only the final answer on the right side will be 2 sine 2 and x so it is proven from the question that pi sine x f prime 2 n minus 1 x equals to 2 sine 2 and x so for question 2c, uh, the question is about uh, either function of fx equals to tangent x can be expanded uh, as a Fourier series or not. So as you can see now, this is the example of uh, tangent uh, function graph and as you can see the pattern of the tangent graph is uh, actually continuous and not bounded by any limits because it's continuity towards infinity. So in the case of Fourier series, uh, Fourier series is uh, mainly uh, performed and there's a, there's a role of uh, integration inside the Fourier series. So if our graph is not bounded by any region, it's not bounded by any limits on the x-axis, so it is hard for us uh, to solve the Fourier series. 
uh, compared to sine and uh, cos graph, uh, for sine and cos, you can see there is a periodic shape. So the periodic shape uh, gives us the uh, starting and the end limits of the graph. So we can easily perform uh, the Fourier series on that graph. But for tangent uh, uh, graph pattern, it is uh, not doable because of the graph pattern is continuity towards infinity and it's not bounded by any region. Next, we will talk about the example in real application involving Fourier series. So the title that we choose, uh, the article that we choose is Fourier series method on eliminating narrow frequency noise in partial discharge detection. For the background of the problem, the Fourier series approach is offered a new way for eliminating requiring narrow frequency sound in partial discharge detection of electric power system apparatus. It makes use of the difference between signal and sound not only in frequency domain but also in the time domain. Experiments on the field were used to examine the methods at the interference effect so the interference is when uh, when two signal collide so it is interference the main Fourier equation applied in this article is uh, the influence the effect of this method will explore including the error of noise frequency the data line by which the Fourier coefficient are generated and the inaccuracy of a diversion, a deconversion. Periodio, perio, periodical function Ft can be described as a Fourier series as well known. If Ft include data partial from partial discharge detection at electric power plant, it will contain periodic periodic narrow frequency sound as well as partial discharge pulse. We can determine the center frequency of noise, WI, using the original data. Then, we may extract the Fourier coefficient AI and BI by plugging the value of FT at a certain period. As the conclusion, the narrow frequency sound will completely eliminate by the rejected filter operation and the pulse signal was so altered in amplitude and shape. The result for adaptive filter demonstrate that the approach was unable to discrim discriminate the pulse signal from disturbance due to their close frequency. In addition, the pulse signal was removed. Finally, the result for the wavelet filter reveals that the approach was also unable to separate and pulse signal from disturbance due to their close frequency. That's all from us. Thank you.